Hey everyone, I have a haul for you guys today. I have a Anna Sui haul specifically. I got some of this stuff at the Bay uh, in Vancouver and then I got also some of this stuff at Muir Al. So those are the two places I know of that Anna Sui are available and probably online. I'm gonna jump right in and let me just say, the packaging on this stuff is so freaking cute. I literally die. I die. The boxes and then the actual packaging of the products are so adorable. I'm going to start off with what I have on my lips right now, actually. And these are the Anna Sui um, lip crayons. They're more of a matte finish than the actual lipsticks that Anna Sui has. And this one that I have on right here on my lips is actually the shade 301. And that is what it looks like. I'll do a little swatch on my hand for you guys. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw me do a little... Uh, I'll show you the product I use on it, but you saw a little swatch watch this on my hand so that is the packaging it is adorable little rose everywhere all of the products are infused with rose are infused with rose hip oil so they all smell like rose and they all smell absolutely delicious I'm really into pinks on my lips lately so I had to and the other one I got is the shade 400 and it is a red I'm addicted to reds y'all know I am I can't not own red all my friends are like Bailey you own every red on the planet and I do, but I didn't own this one, so I had to get this one as well. Again, smells fantastic. So what I actually showed on Instagram was a little video of this sucker. This is called Taco by Anna Sweet, and what this is is a lipstick waterproofer. And I don't know where I've been under a rock clearly because this is amazing. It waterproofs any lipstick. Any lipstick. I'll do a little demonstration. See these two swatches on my hand? Oh look! The pink one will smear. Exact same lipstick. Take a little dot of the top coat. Let's put it on the red one. You know what? And let's just tap it in. I feel like I'm in an infomercial. And now guess what? Yeah. Yeah. You're you're not seeing wrong. It's amazing. Like it waterproofs any lipstick and it prevents your lipstick from feathering and it just makes it last longer. So you can turn any lipstick into like a waterproof long wearing lipstick. I mean, hello, I had to. And since we're on lipstick train, I did pick up this lipstick and it is in the shade 200 and I'm in love with this color. Ugh, it's like a beautiful purple. It's in between Rebel and Cyber from MAC. That's how I'm going to describe this lipstick. Right smack down in the middle. A little bit more towards Rebel, but still a little bit in the Cyber. So if you're wondering the comparison between those two, that's what it is. Um, the finish of the lipsticks are more creamy, but if you set it with um, the top coat, this little sucker, it lasts forever. And you can really p build up the pigment with this. I just love the color. Oh, it's gonna be perfect for fall. Look, I'm already thinking towards fall. And one more lip product. This is a lip gloss. It is in the shade 304. I will do a little swatch for you on my hand here. Just a pink glittery gloss. I always need glosses for in my kit. So when in Rome, you need to get a gloss. So just pink with a little bit of sparkle in it. Multicolor glitter. It's like pink and silver and purplish glitter. Just, you know, glitter in it, you know? So those are my fun lipsticks. I couldn't live without them. One more fun lip product. This is the Rouge Jar. And what this is, is a self-adjusting lip balm. I brought a Q-tip here because it changes really fast the lip balm. So it's clear in the jar, and then when you actually put it on your lips, it self-adjusts. And because I have lipstick on, I'm just going to show you on the Q-tip. Do you see how it's, do you see it turning pink? I don't know if it's picking up on camera. But the Q, the end of the Q-tip is turning pink, I promise you. Do you see it? It's like slightly turning a baby pink. I feel like it changes quicker on the Q-tip than it would on my hand or anything. I, I mean, it maybe changes with heat. I'm not too sure, but see how it's changing there? I thought this was so cute. Smells like rose. I absolutely love it. You can, you can see it's like really changing pink already. So it just changes on your lips. Just gives your lips that nice hint of color that you're looking for. You know, simple, easy. I have a lovely nail polish on my nails right now, and this is obviously a new nail polish it is in the shade 004 none of these have names they just have numbers just glitter pure and absolute glitter in a little bottle that looks like a little gown it is so cute the gown actually like it's not like a chanel polish where the top comes off or anything it's like the gown you paint with a gown and it's so cute and this smells like rose it smells like rose i've had this on my nails for about three days now and it smells like rose. It's amazing. I love it. I was doing someone's makeup and they're like, I smell rose. I'm like, that's my nails. You're welcome. It smells nice, doesn't it? I was in the market for a new 
pore smoother or a pore filler. I'm always looking for something for in my kit and this I thought was really neat. Again, it smells like roses. This is the, what is the actual name for this? This is the Pore Smoothing Primer. Minimizes the size of pores. You know the deal. I like this because when you're taking photos of people or, you know, your your people are on camera, you know, for a film or something, they got big pores. They just do. And with HD cameras, you need it filled in. So it's just a pore filler. You're not going to be able to see this probably, but you can maybe see on my knuckle. It just fills in all the lines, all the wrinkles, all the pores. It's just really nice. And I just couldn't say no because everything smells like rose. So that was another fun little thing. And this comes in a glass container and I really, I'm into that. I felt like I was lacking in the face department, so I had to get a rose cheek color. This is in the shade 100, and it's just a beautiful highlight. You could dust this all over your face, maybe to like even out the coverage a little bit, brighten it up, but I like using this just as a highlight. It's so beautiful. If you are fair skin and you're looking for an awesome highlight, can you even see it on my hand there? Put it in such a weird spot. We'll highlight my knuckle. That's still a very weird spot. Okay, so we'll highlight right here. If you're very pale and you're looking for a highlight just to give you a little bit of glow and you don't want anything gold, maybe try this because you can really play around. You can get a lot of the blue and purple or else you can just stay within the center and grab a little bit of the other stuff. I think this would be such a beautiful highlight if you're looking for one. It's also great if you just want to brighten your skin a little bit. Do a little dusting of it, you're good to go. Those are all my products. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you want like an in-depth video of the, um, the top coat, just let me know. I can totally do it and show you guys how it wears on the lips and whatever. Comment down below and let me know if you want to see that. And that's all. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. It's all Bailey Beauty XO, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Oh, I also got this. I feel so cute. I feel like I'm ready for a little bath.